Hey guys, hopefully you can see and hear me okay. Um, I wanted to make this video, I'm hoping it will be quick, but there's a good chance I may go longer than I expect. So, anyways, I wanted to talk about, you know, kind of about bullying in a way and a couple other things along those lines. So, everyone always says if you're getting bullied, tell a teacher, tell someone, like mainly teachers if you're in school. Okay, when I was in school, I was getting badly bullied. Like beyond the point where I had guys like almost beating me up and everything else and I was bullied like crazy. I told a teacher they did nothing. They saw what was going on and they did nothing. So, I mean, bullying really, it needs to stop and I get that and I don't understand why the teachers aren't stopping a lot of it and I've seen this in schools as well, like with younger children in elementary because I've done lots of nannying jobs, so of course I have to go pick up kids from school, drop them off, and sometimes, you know, they I go for their lunch break so I can bring them their lunch or whatever. And I've seen bullying, and the teachers see this, and they do nothing because the kids that are getting picked on are different. So, how do I put this? Reason why a lot of people don't stop bullying is because they agree or they side with the bully bully because they're like them. So let's put it in a situation of, I don't know, say there's a mountain and a valley. So the people who are bullying people are on the mountain and people are getting bullied are in the valley. So in that sense, it's kind of like rich and poor, right? You know, they're, they feel better off and they don't want to stop something because they, inside of them, actually have some bias towards the kid getting bullied, so therefore they actually don't do anything. Now this makes me very mad because, I mean, I as I said, I was bullied my whole life, no matter what. And I did everything to fit in so I wouldn't get bullied. I even tried the invisible approach where I didn't exist. And it was frustrating and hard. And I hate watching people get bullied. So reason why I wanted to make this video is because when I was recently out the other day, there was these people bugging, like they were probably close to my age. I'm not that old. I mean, they look like maybe they're just out of high school and they're picking on this one person. Well, since I was in a local area, no one does anything. Everyone does the, oh, someone else will do it. Someone else will deal with it. Same thing when you hear like crime going on. So everyone always assumes someone else will do it. And no one wants to be that person that does something about it because if it backfires, will they hate me, whatever. You know, I, I know where they're coming from, but it pisses me off a lot. So I reached out to this person getting bullied and, you know, I helped them out, you know, I talked to them and everything. And just one person like that can change someone's perspective and everything. And I know it's hard to be that person who reaches out to that person or, you know, everyone has that kind of bit of bias in them where they kind of look at someone going, yikes. And I know this because I will on purposely go out in public in terrible outfits. I mean, they even make me go, I shouldn't do this, but I do it anyways. I will go out with terrible makeup, terrible hair, I'll do whatever just to watch how many people will judge me before they even get a chance to talk to me. There are days I've gone out completely goth or punky or completely like dark. No one talks to me. I've gone out days where I kind of look like a color confused person or a color blind person or something. I just, I'm, you, you can't miss me. And some people may say hi or they'll laugh and, and it doesn't really bother me when people judge me or anything like that because, I mean, I know I'm different and I'm very happy to be different. I made a video before and it's called Stop You're Born to Stand Out and the thing is, is people always look and they go, oh, you must not have any friends or, you know, because people try to pick on me still and, oh, you must not have any friends, you must be a loner, blah, 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 blah. And then, of course, they'll find out what I do for a living, and they go, there's no way you're that, and blah, 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 blah. Well, the thing is, I have friends, and the difference between me and the person picking on me is my friends are real. 
They're not going to be those ones that turn around and backstab you. They're not going to be the ones that, you know, the fake friends. My friends are true, true friends. I've seen them in their weirdest moments, in their most worst moments, and I've seen them in their best. One of my best friends is a drag queen. I love him to pieces. Absolutely love him. And we do some of the craziest shit together. And people go, ooh, you're friends with him? Why? Why? Because he's awesome. Because I can be me. Why would I want to be perfect? Why do I want to look like this person or be like that person? I want to be myself. And so I guess the moral of like everything I'm trying to say here is if you see someone getting picked on, or if you're the one getting, hold on, I'll do this. If you see someone getting bullied, be that person that stands up for them. Like you don't have to be like punch someone out or anything. Don't have to stop, like talk to them afterwards. Let them know they're not alone. Like, talk to them, be friends with them. I mean, just because someone looks or acts a little different, it doesn't make them any less different than, you know, you or me. And we're all the same, in a sense. I mean, we all still have a brain. Some, I guess, have a brain. Nowadays, you don't really know, but <laughs> I'm joking. But we're all, you know, the same, in a sense. And don't just watch it happen and if you're in school and you're getting bullied and you tell the teachers and they don't do anything tell your parents if they don't do anything go higher and you may not get anything done about the bullying if you're in school and I'm sorry to tell you this and it's because the teachers and principals are extremely biased so but if you're getting bullied stand strong it will pass, it will, you'll still get bullied for the rest of your life regardless, but not like this. It, it, as you get older, it becomes a bit more stupid and you brush it off. My tips that, are, that I was given when I was younger and getting bullied were walk away, ignore them, or if they do the, you know, you're fat, don't sit there and argue with them go, yeah, I know, thank you and walk away. It's hard to do, trust me. There's many times where someone said, uh, you know, you're fat, and of course I replied with the, yeah, but at least I can lose weight. You can't change it. You can't change an asshole like you, and don't do that. That instigates them. You want to shut them down so they can't go any further. So if they call you like, you're a nerd, you're a loser, just say, yeah, I know. Thank you for pointing, thank you for noticing, and walk away. Because it's a positive thing and they can't go off of that. If you think about it, like, they can't, you know, go along, continue with it. So that is one of the better advices I've had. I've taught lots of the kids I look after these techniques, and a lot of them don't get bullied much anymore. Um, besides, let's say, walk away, accept what they say. Like, almost like, take it like a compliment. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Trust me, I know. And it's gonna ruin your self-confidence, your self-esteem. But at the end of the day, you're you, and you gotta love you for who you are. It's gonna be hard, and it may take you a few years, but try to not take what they say personally, which I know is really, really hard and easier said than done from personal experience and everything. But other ways to deal with bullies, because let's just say teachers and stuff aren't doing anything. Try to get a friend to, like, if you have a friend, hang with a friend, because you're less likely to be bullied if you're in a group setting. Um, not necessarily true, the bully may pick on the entire group instead and then single you out. Um, this is for verbal bullying. Now, if it's a physical bullying incident, um, tell a teacher, tell the principal if they don't do anything, tell your parents or guardian. And if nothing is still getting done, and this bully is just pushing you into lockers, I know it sucks. And keep telling the principal, keep telling the principal, like pretty much harass the principal if you have to. And if it gets worse than that, it's technically a form of harassment and assault, so therefore you can call the cops on them. Now, no one wants to do that, because then after that, everyone's going to call you a snitch or a rat, or the bullying may get worse. And I've called the cops once on one of my bullies, 
and the outcome wasn't too great. Uh, he started. Go he went back to verbal bullying. It was very cruel, but I could deal with the verbal bullying. I just didn't want to be shoved into lockers, and he was. I'm not going to say what he was doing exactly because that's, you know, I can talk about that in another video. But stand strong, and if you're in school, school doesn't last forever. And hopefully these tricks and tips will work, and hopefully this video will be seen by more people, and then maybe teachers will stop having this bias and actually help out. I am so tired of having children come home when I'm looking after them, bawling their eyes up because they were bullied. I go and talk to the school, I tell the parents, we go and talk to the school, and the school does nothing. The next day the kid comes home crying again. Nothing gets done, and it, it's beginning to really upset me because I don't want to see these kids go through what I did. And no child, I mean, everyone gets picked on. Everyone has a brother, a sister, a cousin, someone who's going to pick on them. So, but bullying, you, I mean, school is for learning, not for, uh, just irritates me. So, anyways, I'm going to go before I start rambling. I will make more videos along these lines. So, uh, this will be kind of like my bully. Like, I'm going to make a little bit of a series out of this, I think. I'll do a couple more videos. So, this will be series number, uh, video number one, and I think I'll do about three. And in the final one, I'll talk about everything that happened to me in school for bullying. So, guys, let's stop bullying. And I know everyone has said this. Everyone. But be that person and I want to I want to hear about you guys standing up for someone. I want to hear, you know, that you went and helped them and helped pick up their books. Tell tell someone who's getting called fat that they're pretty. They're not pretty, that they're beautiful because the word beautiful is a lot more powerful than the word pretty. Tell them that like if it's a girl, tell them their hair looks good. You know, try to help counteract what these terrible people are saying. So anyways, I'm going to go, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!